Hello everyone, start off by taking some yellow and white fruit foam net, tie it up in the center and then begin to trim the edges. This should leave you with the shape of a ball. Next, take some more fruit foam net and cut up the edges and again tie it up in the center and make another ball out of it. Make some more white balls and then take a sheet of fruit foam net in yellow and then make triangular like shapes out of it. Take a small strip of some red or orange paper and then turn it into a beak. Stick a circular head onto the body and then add ears on top. Add some eyes and a cute little smile as well as the hands and legs. For our next craft, take some green clay, roll it into a ball, then make an ovular shape out of it, then press it flat against a flat surface. And then add the detailing of a leaf using any sharp object in your sight. Take some peach clay and then roll it into a chili-like shape. And then take some orange clay and roll it against a flat surface once again. Make the orange clay into a twirl, add the orange clay on top of the peach clay, and then stick some antenna onto the peach clay. Now roll two balls of black and then add it onto the antenna. This will be the eyes of the snail. Add a cute little smile and add it on the leaf. For our next craft, take a yellow sheet of square paper and then fold it over diagonally and then make a conical shape out of it. Fold over the bottom edge and then fold over the edge one more time. Reverse the paper and then fold outwards the foldings that you have initially made. Bend the tip to make a small little head. Fold the sides upwards to make it look like wings and then fold them outwards. Twist the back to make it look like a tail. Once you are done, fill in the beak with orange color and then add eyes to this cute little bird. For our next craft, we will be taking some cardboard paper and then cutting it out into circles. Then take some fruit foam net and make a diamond shape out of it and stick all of the ends with glue. Do this until you form a flower-like shape. Stick a yellow ball of fruit foam net right in the center of your flower. Then taking some green fruit foam net, make a leaf. Take the circular cardboard paper you have cut off and make a bridge-like shape and stick your flowers all around the cardboard. Finally, add the board you have created. For our next craft, take some light pink clay, roll it into a ball and flatten it on any surface. Take a sharp object and make cuts on the top. Make sure that the bottom is curved. Then roll out some small balls of white clay and then stick them onto the top of the paws. Roll out a slightly bigger ball of clay and make a somewhat triangular shape and stick them in. For our next craft, take a bottle and cut it into half and surround this bottle half with fruit foam net. Then add some hearts on the side of it as such and add the top as well. Don't forget to add some eyes and a cute little smile. Stow your pencils in this. For our next craft, take some pink fruit foam net, fold it over, tie it up in the center and then make a ball shape out of this. Squeeze it. Next, take a toothpick and surround this toothpick with fruit foam net and then make another ball. Add some legs as well as some ears and horns and the mouth and some eyes. Add a cute little smile as well and a nose. For our next craft, cut out a bottle and then use the bottom half. Cover it with red fruit foam net and using glue stick it together. Cut off the excess or fold it in. Do this on the top and the bottom side of it. Next, cut out a strip of tape and then using some fruit foam net, add it to the top of your creation on either side. Use some glue and add lining to it. Add some flowers to decorate it. And next, add a handle. For our next craft, take some pink fruit foam net, tie a thread in the center and make two balls out of it. Then take some yellow fruit foam net, add eyes, some cute little ears, a horn and some hands. For our next craft, take some red clay and make small little balls out of it. You may roll it in your hands and then arrange it in the shape of a circle. After this, add a yellow ball of clay right in the center and add the patterns as shown. Add a green stem underneath as well as a leaf. Add a bouquet and add a bow to it. Thank you for watching.